Hello, welcome to quantitative reason solution section. And today we're looking at quantitative uh, reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 35, exercise 16, B. All right, so we have this problem before us and um, we're going to try to solve them. Looking at this number, you realize that... Uh, it appears that numbers are equivalent in a way. So let's look at this. 5 plus 3, 10. Se 7 plus 3, 10. 7 plus 3, 10. Right? Now look at this. 4 plus 4, 8. 4 plus 4, 8. Okay? So uh, we can then say to get 10. We can start with 10. We have this 7. Let's label the 7s A and B. And here we have A and B. So that it doesn't confuse us. Uh -huh. Okay, let's use this as C and this as C, right? Okay, so we have a... And D and D. So let's go ahead. We have A plus C equals D and B plus C equals D, right? So we can then say for the first equation, we can have 7, which is A plus C, which is 3, equals 10. And the other 7, which is B, 7 plus 3 equals 10 all right so let's try to get 7 that's 7a okay so we have 10 minus 3 is 7 and to get the other 7 which is b we can also see 10 minus 7 minus 3 equals 7 and to get Three, so we can use any of this seven to get our three seven. So let's assume it's seven a. That's the seven with indication a equals three, right? So let us try this to get eight. We can as well say a plus c. That's four plus four equals 8 and if you do it the other way b plus c you also get 8 so to get 4 for that c4 we have 8 minus 4 which is 4 and to get the other 4 which is our b4 we can also say 8 minus Four, which is 4 and to get our other 4 we've gotten our B and C so get, let's get our A4 we have our 8 minus 4 and we have our 4 right so as you can see is actually very a very simple tax. Do well to subscribe to this channel for more of quantitative reasoning solutions. Bye.